so welcome back to my channel um oh lord um i just had the surgery the mommy makeover and i just wanted to come in here and tell you um that everything went well went well it's just that i'm in a lot of pain right now it's more of the pain of the tubes I had got two drains. That's the that's what's hurting me. Not so much of the cud or the boobs. It's only one this side a little bit under the arm hurts because this boob was bigger than this one, my left side. Um, I have two drains. One here. And the other one over here. So the tummy tuck. Um, I think it's for the tummy tuck or the light bulb. Either or. Oh my gosh, that the Fisher was amazing. He is so funny. Um, he answered all my questions. Um. But right now, I'm drinking and walking. Uh, I'm walking for 10 minutes every hour and a half because I doze off and um, wake back up. But I only took one pain medicine and I got, okay, I went in at 4.30 in the morning and um, Everything was quick, very, oh my gosh, it was amazing. The procedure, everything went smoothly. Everything went smoothly. Oh my gosh, it, he's the best, man. Mm -mm -mm, he's the best. And um, I talked to the anesthesia, anesthesia person. He was amazing too. He put the IV in me. He told me to think pleasant thoughts. Because when you wake up, that's what you're going to be thinking about. Or even dreaming about or whatever. And, you know, I was just thinking pleasant thoughts. And um, when I woke up, I was really, really cold. And I couldn't feel because I didn't have my phone. I mean, I left it, um, left the phone in my bag, and I was so much in pain, and I did not want to grab the phone. So I'm just laying on my couch. Oh my gosh, what's that on my head? Oh, look at how mess. I'm um, just laying on my couch. Just being peace and quiet, and um, just trying to take in this pain because I don't want to keep taking pain medicine. And if I can't take it, take it. If it's too overwhelming, then I'll take it. But right now, I'm handling it really well. Like I said, it's more of the muscle tightening. And my drains, the drains hurt more than anything. But, you know, it's tolerable. So I don't have to take, um, you know, too much of the, um, the pain medicine until tonight so I can get some rest. And tomorrow I have to go to them tomorrow at 12 o'clock to see what's up um and then um head back home hopefully tomorrow will be better i am going to um, eat something my husband wants to go get me some food i'm gonna eat something but i've been snacking on a whole lot of fruits and drinking a whole lot of water been snacking on some fruits all day, 
all day. All day, just eating fruits, drinking water. And when I'm not, when I have to use a bathroom, I go. So when I take my walks, and I drunk so much water, so it's like I'm going to the bathroom every hour and a half. So that's good. Um, I thank God. I give glory to God that everything went so smoothly. Everything went well. And I'm so grateful. Um, I know this process is going to take some time. And um, my boobs are already looking better than what it was i haven't seen it yet but just by me looking at them it's better than what it was um yeah i just want to come on here and tell you guys a brief about um my mommy makeover everything went good went good and i'm so grateful thankful that i picked dr fisher as my doctor Oh my gosh. Um, he's amazing. I know he does great BBLs, but boy, he's amazing. Girls, do your research and um, find that great doctor that you feel comfortable with because you don't just want anybody, you know, doing your procedure just because of word of mouth. Try to do your research and You'll find the right one perfect for you. And he's perfect for me. So, um, once I get up and a little bit better, I'm going to come back on here and just talk to you guys. This is this day one, and tomorrow I'm going to talk to you guys. If I don't go back, come back on here, most likely I'm not. But um, tomorrow I'll talk to you guys, and... Y'all stay blessed and humble. <laughs> to find it but I couldn't yesterday I was in a lot of pain um I went to see the doctor but I was in a lot of pain last night throughout the day I'm fine because I'm walking and stuff but um I was in a lot of pain last night but today I'm doing a whole lot better um just here chilling on the couch. I'm so swollen. And, um, my boobs is swollen. And my stomach is swollen. But other than that, what, it doesn't really hurt. What hurts is the tubes, the drain tubes. That's what's hurting me more than anything. In the abdominal area, you know the skin tightening that part hurts um, other than that everything's been really good I've been eating drinking oh man the best thing you can do is drink a lot of water and walk as much as you can to stretch out your muscles but just try not to stretch it out too much because you don't want to develop um new stretch marks um tomorrow i get to take a, a little sponge bath you know i've been doing like wipe downs with some wipes that i bought from walmart that's like oversized wipes which you know i put some 
soap on it and wet myself but tomorrow I'm going to get all these things clean up off of me um tomorrow will be day three which would be a better you know day for me to be able to really move around and do what I have to do but um I'm just here chilling chilling doing not, not too much and just um taking it easy eating a lot of fruits and drinking a lot of water and taking my medications really too much not that oxycodone stuff mm -mm. you know some drugs make you go crazy but um you know i think the pain is not it's horrible it's just last night for some reason um I was just in a lot of abdominal pain, a lot of abdominal pain, but today I've been doing so much better, just walking, drinking a lot of fluids, drinking some Pedialyte and water, eating a lot of fruits, watermelon, pineapples, grapes. And what else I had? I had a couple of mangoes and some strawberries. But I did eat breakfast. Um, and I had lunch. I had Boston Market. Um, just eating little small portions. But when I do eat, I do when I do eat meat. I don't eat no more than size of my palm of my hand but everything else like vegetables and fruits I eat a lot of but um I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm up and moving um hopefully tomorrow day three will be really better to do be Friday uh, and I have to pack some orders so my daughter, she's going to be packing orders for me. And I'm showing her little by little how to do it. Um, so we can get these orders out there. But other than that, I'm just here on my couch. Can't really lay down. But sitting up, laying down. And, you know, watching some YouTube videos. There's nothing on that much on TV, um, and that's about it. So I'll be chatting back with you guys to give you guys more updates. Bulls, today is day three of my mommy makeover journey. Um, I feel so much better today than I did the first um few days um today i'm still in the same spot in my comfortable couch just relaxing um i'm eating a little bit more drinking more and walking more on my own um i do get help when the skin is a little too tight for me to get up because i don't want to strain because my couch is a little low and I do get asked from ask my husband for help, but usually I can get up on my own now um, and walk around by myself and sit up by myself. But it's just certain times of the day. I think when you after you eat, it's like certain times after you eat, your your stomach just get tight and you do need that extra help because it does get tight and it hurts when you get up. I want to say excuse my appearance because I look a hot mess. But anyways, um, I'm not doing much. I do, do want to say I'm still swollen. We got to give that time. Um, you know, that's going to take time. I, I believe six months to a year, you're going to stay swollen until you see your real results. So, 
I'm giving my body some time. It's just day three. Um, the drains still hurts. I think um, putting a nice heating pad. This is what I got. I got a heating pad for your hands when it's cold outside. Um, and I put it down there where it's swollen at where my, you know, my vajay at. So, I put it there for a little bit to um, to stop the pressure a little bit, and it soothes it. So, um, this is a new one. I'm waiting for it to get hot. You have to shake these. I got these off of Amazon. You have to shake them up so they can get hot. So, I'm waiting for this one to get a little bit warm so I can put it down there so I can soothe it for a little bit. And they come in a box of 40. Um, it calls, it's called Hot Hands. This has saved me from down, you know, from there. Down there gets swollen and too much pressure. And this helps soothe it. So, um, and this get really hot. So don't keep it on there. You do it for a little bit, take it off. Do it for a little bit, take it off. And it lasts up to... It says 18 hours, but to me, I think it lasts only up to 10, 11 hours. You put it down there for a little bit. You take it off because this thing gets hot. Um, so that has been helping me where the tubes are, the drains are. It's been helping me down here. I have two drains down there. Um, today, I get to take a wipe down. Oh, even though I've been wiping myself down every day, but a real good wipe down, um, because I get to, I can move a little bit better. My boobs are still like, ugh. it's, it's swollen, but, um, other than that, everything is good. I have on my robe. I'm gonna show y'all too much, and these are the two drains that I have. The fluid is coming out more on my left side than my right side, so um, that's about it. I'm draining more on my left side than my right side, not that much fluid is coming out on my right side, and I do get my hands like this, and I We'll push down. Let me show you guys because this helps when you have like pain. Just push down like this. Because this area, the muscle tightening, it hurts. And I just keep doing it like that. And this has helped me with the, some of the pain that I've been getting. And then the boobs, my boobs are starting to itch. I just get it and I just rub softly because you don't want to mess up whatever um, stitches, stitches that they have. And I just rub like that. I do have some foams inside of it, like some cloths inside. And it hurts really bad. So, um... It just itches. And then that's about it. The the pain is tolerable. I'm not taking the you know, the pain medicine only at night time I take the um pain medicine so I can get some good sleep. But throughout the day I don't take it. I just take some Tylenol because I don't think I need to be drugged up like that. So but you know, if you can't take the pain, take the take the you know medicine that the doctor prescribe you, the painkillers that your doctors prescribe you. But on um, Wednesday, I go back, and they are going to take off my drains. But from now until Wednesday, I'm just be walking, um, getting up, documenting, um, you know these days to see if I'm going to have any changes. Hopefully it be like this smooth and you know, not so 
painful. But, you know, the more I rub my belly, the more I rub my sides, it's getting better. I just move a lot, walk around my home, um, like a four times on my little walker thing. Drink some a lot of water because I do get dehydrated. Um, and that's about it. And my children, they older, so they don't bother me. Um, they do their own thing. So, they just come check up on me, make sure I'm okay. And now I can get up and do my own thing. I just can't then. That's the only thing I can't do. I will always have to ask my son to come help me or my daughter, whoever that's close, to help me get something that I need if I need to bend. But um, other than that, I really don't too much bother anyone. My husband, he always right there to help me when he could. Um, other than that, I can do it on my own. I've been getting up today on my own. Last night I got on, on my own. It was a breeze. Um, which is uh, not that much to do when you like this, but walk, sit, drink, watch some TV or some YouTube. <laughs> it's really not that much you can do, but just take your time and recover yourself and just heal, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing all day, just healing, taking my time, recovering, and make sure that I don't fracture anything, my, my, my bruises or picking up anything heavy, which you shouldn't. So that's what I'm going to be doing, just sitting here watching YouTube videos and watching movies and walking around. And that's about it. But one thing I do recommend is those um, disposable heating pads. If you're swollen down there, if you're the JJ area, if it's swollen, bulls get those heating pads that will help you soothe your body. And then I have a heating pad right here for my back. Oh. I love it. <laughs> it's surely oh it's getting hot. It's surely um food for my body and have a lot of fruit. Pineapples are good. It helps with swelling. It will um help you to uh de swell. Um watermelon is good because you need a lot of water and a lot watermelon carries a lot of juice and water inside, so that would be good to um intake but um what else oh cough drops yes if you have an, any breast surgery cough drops is going to be your best friend because they do stick a tube down your throat and it hurts you will be sore you need cough drops that's a must cough drops um what else hurt coughing hurts sneezing hurts um just rub your body as much as you can gently um take some extra strength Tylenol when you don't need to take you know the heavy medicine um painkillers um and walk a lot and drink water. I did have uh, Insure. I am drinking Insures. Um, that's about it. Yep. After I can take these tubes off on Wednesday, that's when I'm going to soothe my body with some Annika cream. And um, just get my body back to how it's supposed to be slowly and carefully. So that's all I'm going to be doing.
but I am going to be documenting every day this journey so you guys can be updated and see the difference of what different people go through. Everybody surgery is different. Everybody that I have seen on YouTube so far, everyone is different. Everybody body is different. So everybody's story is going to be different. Some people could take the pain. Some people can't, you know, some people, you know, it takes them a while to get their body back like this. Some people is faster with their body. Um, you know, it, it's just good to listen to different stories because you can resonate with someone, um, someone out there would teach you something not probably one person not two person but everybody that you do watch and over and over different people you will learn something from it um like no one that i watched told me about cough drops the cough you need cough drops that works um i did not nobody told me about the heating pad i was like you know what if the heating pad work for my back the disposable one should work for my JJ because it's swollen down here. So that also worked for me, and I never, I didn't see anyone with um, that information. So you can learn from different people um, in their different stories and their different situation, and just take what resonates with you and just make it your own because your body is your body and you know how you feel um nobody can't tell you how you feel with your own body because you're living in your body so just with me you can hear it in my voice um i know they put a tube down my 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 throat because i even asked he's like yes that's why my throat is sore and nobody did not talk about that all the videos that i watch on youtube they they i haven't found anyone said that their throat was sore over a mommy makeover um and you should get some cough drop but i'm telling you girls boys please get some cough drops that's going to help you um with your surgery uh when with the pain to ease your throat pain and when you cough hold your stomach and Try to get whatever out because it's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. And to keep swelling down, buy some heating pads and just keep it on your body for a little bit and take it off. Don't leave it on there because you will get burned because these hot hand um, disposable heating pads, it, oh, sweetie, it gets hot. It gets hot and you don't want to keep that on your body and get bruised. But, um, you know, everybody goes through different stages, different body types. So, you know, you just got to take what resonates with you and what will help you through your recovery. And I'm just sharing you, sharing with you what helps helping me at this moment. You know, the cough drops, something that helped me and the heating, the um, disposable heating pad has helped me. Everything else you know i got from my doctor the stool softener he um wrote a prescription for me the pain medicine he did that all the um bacteria infection medications he i have all of that you know i didn't have to go out my way and buy those things he already had that prepared for me um as well me only thing i brought separately was the um tylenol extra strength because i know i don't want to use the other medicine throughout the whole time because you only get 12 they only can prescribe you three days so but since i only took it four times i have other days if i'm in pain to be able to use it and i'm only taking it at night time the first day i did take it twice but um yesterday only one time at night today one time last night and today i'm gonna take it one time tonight so i can you know get some rest but other than that um after these you know drains come off that's when i'm going to um uh uh really clean um clean clean my body really good and i'm going to uh 
what is that oh, i'm sorry i'm going to clean my body really good and i'm going to um put the annika cream on my body to soothe my body and rub my body really good um other than that if you know everybody's journey is going to be different so just stay in there don't be scared because this is a scary situation because you don't know what the outcome will be um if there's something that you want to do and that you believe that in your heart that you have to do this because you've been waiting so long to get that look that you want because you're doing it for you not no one else um like i said my oldest daughter is 23 years old and i'm not having any more children so i want to you know get my body how i want it to be because i'm not having any more children and i would just i'm just tired of struggling with myself fussing with myself and that I can't wear this. You shouldn't be wearing that. Looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Like bullying my own self. So I did it for me. Um, Just can't wait to see my results. But it's going to take a minute. Um, I will let you guys be on my journey. So you guys can see the progress. And just. I'm just here to comfort. Whomever out there. That wants to take on this journey you know you have to have that confidence in yourself to be able to do this because it's not an easy thing it's not one two and three you're bam you 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 look like a hot tamale no boy it's gonna take some time to look like that mama see that that you work look wanting to look like so gotta give your body some time um so, so i'm just come back to you guys tomorrow or later on today um just to show you guys my me getting up and stuff like that i know the last few videos i was um laying down but that's all i could do it's really nothing else to do that i could do but walk and sit my behind down um but this is the journey that i chose and this is the journey that um I've been praying for and asking God to give me the strength for it. And he is giving me the strength to be able to take on this journey. And I am so excited to see what's to come later on. Because, boo, I already know I'm going to be I am. But um, just taking it easy. And today is a better day. And I hope tomorrow will be an even better day. And it's just not my body going up and down, having me going crazy. But hopefully tomorrow will be a better day too. So I talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh my God, what's up, boys? Um, today is Monday, six days since I had um the surgery. Um, today, oh my God, it's a better day. Um, I didn't um film anything. Right, um, Saturday and Sunday because it was just the same old, same old, and I don't want to give you guys just blah. But um, today I'm doing so much better. Um, don't have that many concerns or problems. It's just getting these freaking drains off. As y'all can see, I'm up. I'm in my office today. Um, going over some orders that I received here. I have a few orders that I have to, to um, get to. There's four of them. One, two, three, not five, four, five, all the orders that I have to get to. All I'm doing is um, Picking them out, I already put hand sanitizer. That's the first thing I do before I even step in this room. Um, and I wash my hands already. Um, uh, well, when it came to the surgery, only thing that's bothering me as of today is the freaking right drain. 
where it's positioned that hurts boy that hurts um the left drain doesn't hurt as much as the right drain i wish the position was the same way that the left drain was is in did not be you know walking with the back straight um and then the other thing is my back i do get back pains other than that, um, I'm still swollen in my boobs area. I don't want to touch my boobs area and um, my stomach area. The muscle is still tight there. Oh, and another thing, uh, what's going on with me is I still haven't did number two. That's concerning me and I don't want to pile on more food and my stomach is so freaking tight and I know it's because I need to do number two um even though they gave me stool softeners but if I don't do any movements today I will be taking a laxative I don't know if that's gonna make my stomach upset even more but this food needs to come out of me some way somehow and I know that's too much information that's just something that you guys need to know as well um what else other than that is just taking it day by day and trying to heal yourself I do a lot of walking drinking a lot of water um a lot of walking drinking a lot of water inches um taking my time tasting myself basically and not rushing the process because I know when you rush the process trying to put on a waist trainer and stuff like that although I want to put on one so bad but I know I can't I got to get my stomach sometime um i'm just gonna take it one day at a time and as you can see one day at a time you do get better it doesn't get you can't say it's not getting better because for me it's getting better the pain is tolerable i don't have to take them pain medicines anymore i stopped taking them friday i haven't taken um the prescribed pain um, killers that they prescribed me because I did not need them. The Tylenol was um, the Tylenol PM does really good for me at nighttime because throughout the day I make sure I move around to relax my muscles a little bit better. Um, and that's what's I think that's walking is the key to and drinking water is the key to getting better because when I sit for a very long period of time and when I do get up to go to the bathroom um, I notice that I get a whole lot of t tension like tightening um, throughout my back in the front uh, abdomen area that my abs be like tight so I know walking is the key and drinking a whole lot of water um, other than that, that is it. I'm just here sorting out the orders that I need to sort out and then have my daughter to pack them, um, pack the orders for me so I don't have to do too much. I'm just making sure that everything goes in the right place, just putting it in the boxes and stuff like that because she's still young and I don't want her to mess up anyone's order, so... I still have to look over it and my husband he's working so he can't really do it for me um so I don't have a choice but to do it and I want to get everybody's orders out before Mother's Day because of these orders probably give for their moms you know or you know for themselves so I'm trying to get everybody's order out of the way so um that's what I'm doing at this moment. Um, just and I received some new items. I'm excited about those new items. Um, 
this is a gift for somebody. <laughs> Not a part of it, it's a gift. Um, so I'm excited. I have a I um see the bracelet. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this little bracelet. Let me show you. But I do get like these cramping pains here and there. Which is you know, I can tolerate it because I can tolerate pain, but it's like the cramping pains is, is serious. Let me show you guys this bracelet. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I'm in love with this bracelet. I'm going to keep one for myself because <laughs> I love this one. I really, really do. This is the one I'm going to keep for myself. It is so pretty. So pretty. I'm keeping this one for myself. I'm keeping one for myself. So. Um, that's about it. Um, once I go back to... I'm keeping this one for myself. Um, I go back to Dr. Fisher on Wednesday. He's going to take out my dreams. Um, once he take out my dreams on Wednesday, I will make sure that I show you guys how I look after the dreams is taken out. I do have pictures that, you know... But I'm naked and I don't know, want to get, I guess, YouTube, you know, to delete my video, you know, being naked. But, um, I do have pictures of me with the drain on. My boobs look so cute. <laughs> it looks cute. I haven't seen my boobs like that in, child, honey, <laughs> in so long. Um... And my stomach is flat but swollen. I'm very, very excited about that. I know once I heal and can be able to go back to the gym, get my body back in shape, and just get myself back healthy regardless. Um, I'm going to be excited for that. I can wear, finally wear a crop top. <laughs> For once in my life, I can wear a crop top without picking at myself. It's not that people pick at me. It's me picking at myself. That's why I never wear, wore a crop top before, ever. And once I heal and can be able to wear one, I'm going to be excited. Um, and some cute high-waisted jeans. Because all the high-waisted jeans that I did wear before, it still showed my pudge that I had in my stomach, on my stomach. That's why I never wear high-waisted jeans. And now, I probably finally could wear a pair of high-waisted jeans. And I'll do a trial haul for you guys. Then I'll be excited. Um, it's just, you know, I'm doing this for myself. Not for nobody. I've been want to, wanting to do this for a very, very, very long time. And I'm finally, you know, done it. I got over my fears of behind, things behind plastic surgery. It's just like getting a C-section when it comes to the tummy tuck. Um, which I should have been put that program that in my head. It's just like it's just gonna be like a C section, but the the C section is deeper than the tummy tuck because they gotta get the baby out when you get a C section is the cut is deeper versus one layer of skin that they take out of your um your tummy tuck. So I finally did it for myself and I'm so grateful, so thankful. Um, you know, I know some people is against plastic surgery, but 
this is something that I needed and wanted, you know, to get done for myself and my confidence. You know, even though I always had confidence in myself and I love myself regardless, it's just another push for me to be up uplifted. So, but other than that, I'm not going to be doing much, but just putting, I'm not going to show nobody's name, putting, doing these orders and putting them in their boxes. So my daughter... I'm going to write the names on it so she don't get mixed up or whatever on the pink packaging so she can ship, um, finish packing, packing them for me and then my husband can ship it out today because um, it's still early in the morning and I'm going to make sure everyone get their packages today, not get them today but shipped them out today oh excuse me um that's it that's all i'm gonna be doing i will update you guys maybe tomorrow or later on i'll talk back with you guys if any ch any change um i'm gonna talk to you guys tuesday which will be a whole week since my surgery um or i'll just come back here on wednesday and take y'all along with me to go meet Dr. Fisher. <laughs> but other than that, booze, I'm doing good. I hope you guys doing good out there. Um, wherever you at, whoever listen listening to this. Um, if you do decide to get your mommy makeover, you know, just do your research. I'm gonna put as much as information about Dr. Fisher um, at the bottom of the description so you know read up on him do your research um, there was two other doctors that I was looking into before I chose him and reason why I chose him because he's double certified in reconstruction meaning he's like well educated when it comes to um, reconstructing the body um, that's why I chose him. You are willing to choose whomever you are willing to chose. Um, choose, um, but just do your research. Don't just take, take it from me. Do your research. And I chose him because, one, he's double certified. And his reviews compared to the other two. I was more comfortable with him. Um, that's why. So, I'll be back to talk to you guys either later on today or come back to you guys tomorrow. So, Hey, happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes, I just got back from the doctor's office, Dr. Fish's office. Um, his assistant took out my dreams today. I didn't see him today, so I'm going to see him on May 19th when I go back. Um, oh, my gosh. Taking out the dreams was a blessing because those dreams was killing me. Oh my God, what a relief. Um, The right drain was killing me more than the left. The left was like it was nothing there. But that right drain, that I, it has to be the way that he positioned it for it to be hurting me so bad. That it was hurting me so bad. But yes, they took out my drains today, which I am so grateful and so happy that they did. 
Um, she told me that I can take a shower, a full shower today, but just make sure that I dry myself really well. Um, especially around my boob area, just the the cuts, just dry them really, really well and don't leave soap on them. So, um, I do go see them back on May 19th. Um, other than that, she didn't really say much. Uh, I'm going to wear a Faja the next time. I get to wear a Faja the next time they see me. So I'm glad so I can start compressing. And um, my swelling should be down by May 19. So I can start wearing a Faja and then wearing a um, belt. A waist training belt so I can get my stomach um, trained to how I would like it to be but minimalist meaning not so tight because you know I don't want the, the scars excuse me that's the airplane going by I don't want um, the scars from my tummy tuck to be swelling you know when you wear something too tight you can swell that up in a way um but other than that i am so happy to get um drains off of me out of me because that was giving me the most pain the drains was giving me the most pain other than that, i can take the pain that i'm get, getting right now it's just more of back pain and soreness that is it it's not like a like the pains that I was feeling when them drains was in me. So I'm grateful that I got them, them drains out of me. So I'm moving good now. It's just more soreness from the boobs. Because my boobs are still tender. And you know the C-section. Not, not C-section. The tummy tuck scar is like a C-section. But um tummy tuck scar it's numb but you still can feel it when you move a certain way which I am so grateful to be um not for it to be not in so much pain for me to not be in so much pain basically so um I'm gonna take it one day at a time and just pace myself not rush myself to get back to normal because I know things is going to take time but I can move better now versus before because with them drains you barely can even move and walk and it took so, take a lot out of you so uh, I have to pack some orders today and um, <sighs> what else do I have to do today just pack some orders that I have to pack. I just wanted to come over here and chit chat with you guys and just tell you guys everything is good. Um, this is uh, yesterday was my week. Today will be eight days from the surgery, so things get better over time, especially when you get them drains. <laughs> I would keep saying that. Oh my god, them drains are driving me crazy. But, um, yes, it gets better. It doesn't, it, it gets better. So, um, yes, any updates, anything, you know, I still got my meds, so I gotta take, not this, it's Chick-fil-A cookies. Um, I still have my meds that I gotta continue to take, and, um, I keep it next to me. Oh, and this is the scar treatment that I have to start taking next next um monday she told me to start taking this monday to ne next week i'm gonna start taking it and putting it on my scars i told her give me the one that's top 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 of the line and she recommend this one so we're gonna see i don't care how much money i gotta spend hey we're gonna get this these scars to where I would love them to be. So hopefully this um, scar treatment works. 
so to heal my scars up faster so and i'm also going to do my own research on another brand which they do sell the other brand that i was going to get but she still chose this one over that one so let's see how this works um i'm just oh and i get to take a, sh a full body shower i already told y'all that you already did so i don't have to repeat myself anymore um that's just about it i'm just going to um to work basically get back to work but in a slow pace and not push myself so much um but i am so happy to get some dreams <laughs> Y'all gonna see if y'all get this done. Y'all gonna be like, yep. So happy to get them drains off. <laughs> That's all I was worried about. Just to get them things and drains. And then, um. That's about it. But I will show you guys pictures. Of before and after. Surgery. And I gotta try to see how can I edit it. Or you guys don't see too much nudity i have to try i don't know how to do that i'm gonna try my best though it'll be at the end of this video um so y'all can see before and after pictures um but other than that this journey has been not so you know what? i'm not gonna lie it's what was hurting me this whole time was the right dream when I got up to use the bathroom, when I sat back down, it was just that right dream that was like killing it. Um, any everything else, it was just like menstrual cramps, basically, but double the times of the minister my ministry cramps basically um i really don't have ministry cramps my period only comes on three days it only lasts for three days so um how can i describe it if you heart if you guys have children you know having a c-section and you know contractions it will feel like a minor contraction here and there but that's how it feel and it just goes and it comes and i was just with the dream dream on so it been how many hours now since i got the dream off let's see 10 12 1 2 3 it been five hours since i um got the dreams out and I have not felt any like pain meaning like contraction type pain or cramping type pain so that's how I know it was that freaking drain I'm glad that I got it out of me so now I can move better and I can sit down without uh, 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 without that feeling uh, just a great feeling to get that off of me um but other than that the pain is tolerable i can handle the pain i'm moving better now and um it's just now it's tenderness that i feel i guess my mind was so concentrated on that drain i didn't feel the other pains that i was having so now I can feel that my body is just really tender, really tender to the touch. So I'm just deal with it and keep it going. You know, this is just temporary. It's not, you know, for a long period of time. But um, yes, fools, this is day eight got a long way to go to heal ah <sighs> can it be a pink pink girl summer <laughs> not this year but um i'm not gonna be doing much but just fulfilling these orders that i need to fulfill and ship them out have my 
husband to take them to the post office tomorrow. But um, I did take some medicine. And it making me kind of drowsy. I took some Tylenol. I don't take no more of that painkillers because I don't need to. I took some Tylenol so I can give my body a rest. So, that's about it. And, um, that's it. That's all I'm going to be doing today. Fulfilling orders and resting. That's all I can do um, until my body heals. Once my body heals, I will take you guys with me on um, a Miami wholesale the wholesale district so you can see um where i get all my wholesale things um from like my wholesale jewelry wholesale handbags all my wholesale things that i get down get from here miami um not i know some people get their things from aliexpress and things like that but i go to the wholesale district right here in Miami where you can get wholesale lashes um you can get your custom boxes made for your business you can get your jewelry um made with your name embraced and bordered inside like your business name but um I get all my jewelry from um this wholesale district area in Miami so that's why I'm gonna take you guys once everything once i can get moving better you know but right now i'm just gonna chill and heal my body because i do need to re-up on more items um that i need to sell more handbags and um i want to sell some furry shoes so i'm gonna go to the wholesale district to see do they have some out there last time i was out there they did have some and it's almost time for auction time, which I cannot go. Um, the auction here in Miami where you can, um, they auction out um, Louis Vuitton, Gucci bags, the real deal. Only thing was wrong with them is probably a little stitching. It's messed up here and there, but they are authentic. It's not fake. And you can get it at a good price. Uh, two years ago, I brought 10 um, authentic, brand new Louis Vuitton Gucci bags for $4,000. I won the bid for $4,000. And when I say it's authentic, it's real. You know, you get your certificate for it and everything. So, um, I don't think I'm be missing this one. I'm going to try to make it, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to go because I barely can move. And you got to be aggressive because some people be out there. When you want something, you got to be aggressive. And it's a lot of movement. It's a lot of back and forth. And I know I need to take my time and pace myself. So maybe not this time around. Next time around in... The next one will be in October, and by then I'll be okay to go to the next one in October for, for that one, for that auction. Um, but other than that, once I heal within, I can't, no longer than a month, I'm going to give myself a month. I'm going to take you guys with me to the wholesale outlet district here in Miami so you can see where I get my items from for my business, um, where I get my custom boxes from, uh, and things like that. Jewelry, handbags, they sell shoes, they, it's everything wholesale items. So once things her <laughs> get better for me, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. That should be a fun experience. Um, so whenever you guys here and you have your own business, as long as you have your um, text ID card, 
for your business and just have your business license basically um you can be able to go to the wholesale district here and order you some things for your business so booze um i'm gonna get out of here and go do my work pray time for me is over just wanted to chick chat with you guys and just tell you guys everything went well now i have to wait for these two holes to heal up um i know what to put there so it can you know heal up fast for me and then i have to treat it so i don't get scars down there um once um I do that i'll let you guys know what i use and i'll take before and after pictures so you guys can see so you guys have a blessed day happy cinco de mayo and enjoy y'all cinco de mayo don't drink too much so don't drink too much and if y'all do drink one for your girl because i can't drink <laughs> Bye, booze.